Good day, good day, beloveds. I trust that you are all well. God has laid a word in my spirit, but let us begin with a word of prayer. Father, I just cover this word with the blood of Jesus. Take over and take control. Let this word minister to the hearts of your people, Lord. Let them not hear me, but let them hear you through me, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, beloveds. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you all so much. And Jesus loves you so much, much more. Today, we are carrying on with our series, The Mysteries of God, Part 3. And uh, under the series, The Mysteries of God, Part 3, today, today's topic is the heart of the Father. It is a subtopic broken down into two. The first part is the heart of the Father. And secondly, marriage. That being love is God's design. Marriage is God's design. Today, we're talking love because we're celebrating love. It is an exciting, exciting, exciting message. So, do stay tuned in. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will not die but have eternal life. Genesis 2.18, we're reading the Amplified Version. Now the Lord said, it is not good, not beneficial for the man to be alone. I will make him a helper, one who balances him, a counterpart who is suitable and complementary to him. Now, the prophetic word that the Holy Spirit gave us for the month of February is the month of divine partnerships. And the first partnership came in the form of marriage. In essence, marriage is God's design. Love is from God and marriage is God's design. Now, the first revelation of the mystery behind this word is number one. The heart of the Father towards you is pure. The heart of God towards you is pure. God wants you to have eternal life. And that can only be obtained through accepting Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. The heart of the Father towards you is pure. God so loved the world. He so loved you that he gave his only son for you. The heart of the Father towards you is pure. God wants you to have eternal life. Above all things, above all the gifts, above all the ayabareboseke, things of the world, God needs you to have eternal life. That's how much he loves you. He's thinking about your life in eternity and he wants to spend eternity with you the heart of the father towards you is pure it is full of love my name will seek it the second revelation regarding this word is marriage is god's design as we're talking love we're talking marriage marriage is god's design genesis 2 verse 18 amplified God saw that it is not good, not beneficial for men to be alone. I will make him a helper who balances him and is suitable and complementary. Therefore, if you so desire marriage, trust the designer. When you want an outfit and you take your idea to a designer, you trust that whatever idea you have given the designer, they will, they will deliver your desired outfit. God wants you to trust him with your love story. You may have tried it by yourself, tried to date, tried to do this and that, and it may not have worked. Only because God wants you to take your ideas to him and allow him 
to design for you what is suitable, what will balance you, and what will be complementary to your life. Because God is the one who created you. He knows what you need. He knows what he has put in you. He knows the suitable person that will balance you, that will bring out the best in you, and that will complement who he created you to be. Mm. And for those who are already in courtships, continue to keep God at the center of it all. Continue to keep God at the center of it all. And I pray that God will continue to show up and God will bless your union in the mighty name of Jesus. Love is from God. God is love. The heart of the father towards you is pure. God wants the best for you. God wants eternal life. For you god wants to give you a person that will balance you that will complement you mm. god wants to bless you with the best love you've never had the best love that you are about to have with him the best love you've ever had god's design mandarabosata mm. God's design is kingdom marriage and kingdom love. Allow God to be your designer and you will have an outfit that will complement you, that will be suited to you and that will fit you just right. I pray that this word has blessed somebody, has got somebody excited that marriage is God's design. God wants you to get married. God wants you to have a great love, but he wants you, he wants it to be his design because he knows what he has placed in you. And also God wants you to have eternal life. The heart of the father towards you is for you to have eternal life. And God wants to bless you with the desires of his, of your heart that are based on his design for you. A design that is complementary, suitable, and that will balance you. Father, as you have laid this word in my spirit, I have released it. I pray, Lord, let this word minister to the hearts of your people. Let testimonies come from this word. I declare it, I decree it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloveds, I love you all so, so much. Have a blessed day. All my information is in the description box. Shalom.